Hello, this is the Lumentop FW21X9L SPT90.2 LED copper flashlight. I've had this flashlight for over three months now, and in that time, a nice patina has formed, and I've gotten to know it well enough to feel comfortable presenting it to you today. If you open the package, you will find two spare O-rings, a card that says to remove the head only and not the tail when inserting or removing the battery. A nice thick manual. The default user interface is the smooth ramping. From off, press and hold to go into moonlight, press and hold to ramp up all the way to turbo, press and hold to ramp down, With the default interface, you can activate the blinking mode by pressing three times and on the third one, hold. In the blinking mode, you can turn up the brightness by pressing and holding, or turn down the brightness by pressing and holding. And then you can change the blinky type by double clicking. And here's my favorite mode, the lightning mode. So if you have a nice drizzle outside or it's raining outside and you're lying in your bed and you wanna get really cozy, you would activate lightning mode. To change the smooth ramping mode to Accept mode, from on, triple click. Press and hold to step up, press and hold to step down. Double click to go into turbo. To go into the muggle mode, or the reduced brightness mode, you would press six times from off. and this is the brightest it'll go. To exit the muggle mode, click six times. There we go. From off, you can lock your flashlight by clicking four times. Make sure you're on the low, lowest mode when you activate the lockout mode. To exit lockout mode, click four times. Let's talk about the X9L specifications. As stated earlier, it is equipped with the Luminous SPT90.2 LED. The reflector is smooth. The lens has an anti-reflective coating. And maximum output is about 6,500 lumens. Maximum beam distance around 800 meters, and the candela rating is around 163,800. The driver is a FET 7 1 or FET plus 7 plus 1, which offers low parasitic drain when the flashlight is off. The downside is that there is PWM present at a certain um, brightness. You'll notice that the camera screen will flicker. I'll show you that flickering in a minute.
There's a battery sleeve inside for contact. The springs are nicely coated. And inserting the battery has to be done from the head. It will not fit from the bottom. All right, let me show you the PWM. There you go. Excuse the fingerprints. <laughs> Caution, my particular X9L didn't come with a smooth pocket clip. This particular pocket clip has a rough backside and turning it caused a hairline scratched. So I will not be using the pocket clip. Instead, I will use the rubber Tactical grip ring. As you can see, I've carried this like quite a bit. There's some scratches all over. And I've even dropped it once and it still works. Fantastico. Beautiful. This is a very versatile SPT90.2 flashlight. Versatile because it's compact and it offers enough spill so that you can use it on low mode. And the center, the hotspot, isn't blinding. So, very usable. Now, of course, on turbo, it will get hot fast, and that's understandable because it is a small flashlight. Highly recommended. If you love copper, go for the copper. After three months, mine has formed a patina. In the right light, you can see a bit of red purple and blue